Welcome back to JSA TV, everyone, where we're coming to you live from the Expo Hall of Yada 2024. We're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And joining us now, we have conference royalty. We, I should say we have Amar Syed joining us from Oracle, Oracle, excuse me. And you're just fresh off of the opening remarks of the day where you were talking about cloud in 2030. Absolutely. How was super, that? Super exciting, very uh, uh, provocative, interesting, innovative conversations throughout the, the conference. Um, just, you know, it's been learning for me as well. But at the same time, it's an opportunity to, to understand what's happening in, in the industry and what the trends are. Um, and it's super exciting. And thank you. Thank you for doing this. It's nice. I appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome. We're, we're so glad that you could make it here today um, because we definitely need to be talking about cloud. Um, it, you know, it's, it's not going anywhere, as you were just talking about <laughs> in, in your, top, your opening remarks for the morning. So as organizations do continue to adopt those multi-cloud strategies, I mean, what do you see as the key challenges in managing all of those applications across those multiple different places? Yeah, I, I, I would sum it up in one word, communication, right? So the applications, the data, the cl uh, cloud platforms, they all need to kind of talk to each other, right? That interoperability. So with data, there's data transfers happening, there's data transformation happening, and we just need to make sure that all that movement is kind of uh, standardized. So Oracle has uh, tools available uh, that allow for uh, these, these, da these data points as well as data sets to be kind of standardized across the different platforms. Then we look at applications. Applications need to talk to one another. So there's interoperability there. So there are some tools around that as well where Oracle can help communicate with other cloud providers as well. Yeah, because sometimes the tech is only as good as the back end. If it's not working on the back end, it's not going to work out here on the end user yeah. side. Yep, we got to get the right tools to do the job. So, so we want to make sure that everything is seamless for the end user experience there. Absolutely. So I know this morning you were talking about AI yeah. in, in your talk as well. Um, a, a little bit of AI is fueling what's going on <laughs> in the digital Quite infrastructure <laughs> industry, right? Just, just a little bit here. <laughs> so it, it's definitely transforming industries it's you know including communications high tech so how is oracle so far leveraging some of those ai technologies yeah that's a great question so we need to be reminded that machine learning and artificial intelligence has been around for decades right the evolution of it in the last couple of years has just been profound uh, oracle has always and is continuing to inject enterprise grade AI into all the stacks, right? Whether it's the applications, the data platform, the infrastructure, the security of it. So there's always uh, AI built to it, into it, whether it's for predictive analytics, whether it's for automation, whether it's to enhance, right? So when we go to our end customers, we give them the full suite rather than just bits and pieces of it. So AI is definitely part of the entire uh, ecosystem within Oracle. Yeah, and how would you say that that is helping on on the customer side, on the end user experience? That's a them? great question. So customers don't have to spend that much time uh, in terms of deployment. Uh, customers can be rest assured that we are doing everything in our capacity for governance, uh, data privacy, uh, as well as security uh, perspective. And um, customers know that when they're getting our applications, it's the best in class in the industry that's available with the latest AI tools. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like we've said, AI is not going anywhere. You are leveraging it at Oracle. Yeah. We're seeing more and more enterprises starting to implement some AI tools on their end. Um, data centers are fueling it. So how do you see this ecosystem coming into all coming together eventually in the future? Yeah, look, uh, we talked about this earlier, I think yesterday, where we said this ecosystem is expanding. So uh, there are players in this uh, ecosystem, but interoperability, interconnectivity is going to grow, right? We can't just operate in, in silos, whether it's data centers in remote locations, bringing edge and compute and power uh, and connectivity there, um, whether it's uh, expanding into the next generation of uh, mon monetizing income revenues, whatever that looks like, this everybody has to operate in sync and everybody's got an important role to play here. I do, absolutely. What do you see as Oracle's role in this as it grows? Oracle has uh, definitely uh, been, been doing a lot of great, uh, tremendous things around multi-cloud. For example, we've taken down uh, the, the barriers or the garden walls around hyperscalers, right? So now, last month, we just announced our 
uh, partnership with AWS, in addition to Azure and GCP in the past, uh, where we c where customers can use their Oracle Cloud Infrastructure OCI within Amazon's uh, cloud. So customers have better uh, pricing options. They have flexible choices on how to optimize the cloud services that's best fit for their business. Yeah. And again, it's that interplay that you said that everybody's got to be talking to each other, yeah. working together, and, mm -hmm. and it all makes for a better experience on the end user side. Yeah. So before we let you go, you're definitely one of the bright minds here at the show and in the know. industry. So we have to ask you, in your opinion, just very broadly, what is AI's role in the future of this industry? Yeah, look, we've got the foundational, right? Like automation, predictive, right? But I think every individual has a role to play on how we can uh, uh, enhance uh, global communities, individuals. We need to be very cautious of sustainability as well. Uh, how we're operating, what we're consuming, what we're uh, quote unquote spinning out, right? This all needs to be uh, an individual's responsibility as part of a unified approach to ensuring that there is uh, proper governance as well as responsibility with implementing and deploying AI. That's right. And I love that you said that. It's, it's not sometimes one big thing, it's many small actions built up over Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And everybody's got a role to play, whether it's an entity, whether it's an institution, whether it's us as individuals, we all have a role in this. You're absolutely right. Very good. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Anything else you're excited about that I'm you want to mention? I'm super excited to, to see what the future holds in this and uh, what you guys are going to be doing in this. So um, uh, yeah, just let, it, it's yet to be discovered. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Well, Amar, thank you so much for being on JSA TV with us. Look forward to hopefully having you back again soon. Would love to. All right. Thank you so much. And, and to our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more to come here from the showroom floor of Yada 2024. But in the meantime, stay curious and stay connected, everyone. Thank you.